Craig Hodges, one stock you like in the Hodges small cap fund is J.C. Penney. Now, not too long ago, this retailer was left for dead. Now it's a Wall Street darling. It's up over 50% this year. That said, still about 30% of the shares sold short. Why do you like it? It is a great, easy turnaround story. They mismanaged the company for years, got new management in there, brought some people from Home Depot. They've got extremely low-hanging fruit. They don't need a big increase in sales to make their targets. And we, we see $2 earnings in a couple of years. The stock at $10 we think could be in the mid-20s. It's, it's a great turnaround. Um, they've got a lot of low-hanging fruit, and I think that uh, – it's not even going to be that hard. They're being classified as they're being killed by Amazon in a department store, you know, expl explosion. But these guys have the easy comparisons in front of them. I, I, think it's a, I think it's a layup. All right. And you're also bullish on N-Link Midstream. This is a natural gas distributor. It's up around 11% this year after a tough 2015. Yeah. What takes it higher? It was thrown out with the, like the baby in the bathwater with a lot of the MLPs, midstreams. These guys are still investment grade. They're, they're, uh, they do a lot of business with Devon, so they have these guaranteed contracts. Um, dividend is a, at 8%, very easily coveraged, very misunderstood story. You also like American Airlines, another Texas-based stock. Yeah. Uh, it's down around 15% this year. All the airlines are down, so you can't take it personally. That said, what makes you think it's going to fly higher? Uh, I think Americans still misunderstood. The industry has changed dramatically. We're down to three big players and then a lot of the regionals. Um, American has, is trading about six times earnings. The, the stocks only trade on PRASM numbers, but they're returning, shareholders, returning money to shareholders for the first time in the industry's history. It's under-owned, very inexpensive, and eventually those stocks will move higher. And then finally... La Quinta, and this is a hotel company, shares down around 14% so far this year. It's a lot of hotels in Texas, but they're also expanding. They got one uh, here in New York, which they built recently, also expanding into Latin America. Tell me about La Quinta. La Quinta has been treated like an oil stock the last 18 months. It was a $25 stock going back about a year. It's trading around 11 now. The, the, the stock at the current price is trading below its replacement cost. 25% uh, of their hotels are in Texas, but it's not, they're, they're not showing uh, negative results there. So I think it's a big oversimplification. I think the stock moves back into the high teens. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Craig. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching The Street.